What is going on guys and girls, my name is Van Gilf and today we've got a few part 5 of my break in Britain. But before the video does start, be sure to check out HD Foot Coins. The link to their website is in the description below. As you can see here guys, we've got Shinny and we've got Hutchinson as a left back and a centre back. They are subs now. We're going to use them whenever we need a little bit of fitness with Corker and Shaw. So, the reason I put them in is because I saw a couple of comments saying you should get Hutchinson, you should get Shinny. So, I decided to go ahead and get them. Same with Corker. I did nearly get Curtis Davis as well as to get in Corker. Just you know to have an extra center back because you guys were putting so many comments on the last video so I really appreciate that we've gone for this guy now as the other center back because he's a English center back so he gets links with Corker Flanagan a strong link with Hughes there in the middle and also the goalkeeper so it's looking like a very good squad at the moment really excited to get more of these videos done as you can see here we go into the single matches again because I don't think the team is just quite strong enough for league games just yet it's really weird because last time last FIFA or the last um, Road to Glory, should I say. I remember going into league games straight away and winning some of them, so it's it's really frustrating because I don't know whether I'm going to blame it on, you know, people being able to get gold coin, uh, gold players more often because they're so cheap at the minute because of the market crash. I don't know what to blame it on, but first of all, we come off and we get a nice little skill run. It's, it's not a major skill run, it's a nice little one by Mackay Steven there, a little bit of a... McGeady spin, but we've got an absolutely fantastic finish. That is probably one of the best ones we're going to see this entire series. It is from Collison on the right hand side. And by the way, guys, if you haven't hit the like button yet, be sure to remember to do so. We absolutely nailed it last time. I think we can beat that target again. As you can see, there it's in the bottom corner of the screen now. But what a finish! You don't get much top corner than that. Like you cannot get more top corner. I personally think it's a bit of a miss kick from the guy myself, but. You know, it goes into the top corner regardless, so I'm definitely going to credit him for him. Look, you could tell that it just looks like a little bit of a missed kick. It looks like he means to go near post, but hey-ho, it goes in, top corner, in off the post, and it nearly hits the other post as well, so I thought it was going to go out at first. Really, really good shot, and that's probably his first goal of the series as well, to be honest, but this guy was a fairly decent player. He had a couple of great players at Duro, very fast up front. He had a nice team actually, it was like an MLS, I think it was full MLS actually, but we do get another goal now and this is the first goal from our centre mid called Rankin and we played about 12 games with him, he's one of the only remaining bronze players left and it is that man, I don't know, that, was that a Dover or not? Anyway, he did get a goal there and it was a very nice goal, he was putting on a lot of pressure, should have scored there but the goalkeeper makes a fantastic reaction save there but we do come off and we score another beauty of a goal this time it's Mackay Stevens left footed bang straight to the top corner we win 4-1 not a bad result there at all and we're going to go into another single match as well as you can see we've still got the same team I forgot to put Hutchinson and I forgot to put Shinny and I do apologise there completely left my mind but we come up against this very good team he's got Leno informing goal Aubameyang, Sidney San and Espine very fast so I'm going to struggle there. First chance goes to him and he does actually hit the crossbar. I'm lucky for not to score there. We do come though and Russell, who's very quick by the way, manages to chip the goalkeeper but he doesn't put it into the back of the net. We do get another chance very, very soon after and it is that man again. It is Rankin. He gets the ball and he shoots left footed. He is right footed and it goes into the bottom corner. So that's two goals in two games from the man who hasn't scored in, t in 10 goals in 10 games prior to that. Sorry. And we do actually take another chance. We've got Morrison at the far post. One of the only Welsh players in the team. I believe him and Collison are the only Welsh players in the team. And they are both, you know, fairly decent players. But this guy is a good player, as I said. And he does come back and get a goal back. It's a very good game. I don't know what the hell happened here. I actually, off the touch, I had already pressed LB and Triangle for him to just smash it out of play. But for some reason, he takes touch and that completely bites me in the ass because it's now 2-2. And I have to try five goals from somewhere, which I do again with Morrison. He's so good in the air. Such an underrated gem, in my opinion. There's another defensive lapse. Kolka brings the ball down and, of course, Aubameyang is obviously going to be on his tail with the pace that he's got. But... As you can see there, he does smash it into the top corner. It's 3-3. Free free. We're going to go into extra time and we are going to concede straight away from a nice strike from S. Fine. I believe that it pretty much completes his hat-trick now if he hasn't already. But we do get back into the game. We've got a nice chance just missed there by Russell. He's not right-footed. At the time, I thought he was right-footed, so I thought I'd be able to finesse that around the goalkeeper. Turns out he's left-footed, Morrison is right-footed, and this guy goes mega sweaty just to make sure he gets the win there, which is very frustrating. Or does he get the win? We'll have to see. We do come back, and we get a chance. Corner, so unlucky to, not to score there. But Russell makes sure that we do actually get a comeback, and as you see there, boom, 4-3. Is there enough time? 
let's gonna have to see is there enough time there no, there isn't it's four five to him very good game nine game thriller but we don't win unfortunately and i'm gonna mix the team up quite a lot now we're gonna go for a new right back flanagan was fantastic in that game managed to keep obamian quiet obamian made these runs down the right hand side but Flanagan was there to mop him up. And as you can see, we've got the two centre midfield roles now. We need a gold one on the right-hand side to replace Hughes. And we need a silver one on the left-hand side to replace Rankin. So, guys, if you are new around here, remember to subscribe for more content. If you are a normal subscriber, remember to leave a like and a comment. Thanks for watching. See you next time.